Hello everyone. Uh, we're going to try and solve uh, the following question in this lecture. Uh, this is uh, 9701 May June uh, 18, question paper 42. I'm going to try and solve uh, this question number two over here. Uh, the question states, uh, describe the trend in the in the reactivity of the halogen Cl2, Br2, and I2 as oxidizing agents. Explain this trend using E0 values from the data booklet. So what we need uh, to look for in the data booklet are uh, these three elements. We need to find these three elements. Uh, let's quickly open the data booklet, which is over here. So here's my data booklet. Uh, it's open. I'm going to look at the E0 values, which should come on your screen in a bit. Uh, here are your E0 values, and I'm going to mark. Uh, this is uh, th this is the Cl2 equation. So let's uh, let's mark all those equations. Uh, here's your Cl2. Where did it go? Uh, it was right here. That's this is this is Cl2. Uh, then I think it was talking about uh, there's I2 over here as well. And you have uh, Br. Br must be in B right at the top. So this is Br2. Uh, you can look at the values. It's 1.07 volts. Uh, Cl2 is 1.36 volts. And this one is 0.54 volts. So let's uh, go back quickly and uh, write down those values. Uh, I'm going to write down those electrodes. Uh, it's Cl2 plus two electrons in equilibrium with uh, two Cl minus one. And the E0 that is provided, it's uh, given as 1.36 volts. Uh, then you have Br2. Br2 is uh, plus two electrons. <coughs> in equilibrium with 2Br minus 1. And the E0 that is given to you, it's uh, it was given as 1.07 volts in the data booklet. And the last one is I2, plus two electrons uh, in equilibrium with 2I minus 1. And the E0 that was provided was uh, 0.54 volts, if I remember correctly. Now, uh, Explain the trend using the E0 values. The first thing is you're going to answer, you're going to quote the E0 values. And you're going to state that the E0 values, they decrease down the group. So they are clearly decreasing down the group. You can see these values, these values decreasing. That's, that's pretty obvious. So what does that mean if they're decreasing? That means, uh, if it's more positive, that means it has, it has a stronger tendency to gain electrons. So E0 decreases. So tendency to gain electrons decreases. Gain electrons or tendency to get reduced. I mean, that's what happens when you gain electrons. The tendency to gain electrons or get reduced, it it decreases down the group. And because of that, uh, they become weaker oxidizing agents. I mean, if something is getting reduced, it's acting as an oxidizing agent. So if they're not getting reduced down the group, the tendency is decreasing. So that means they're weaker oxidizing agents down the group. So that's, that's your answer to, uh, let me go back. Uh, so this is our answer to this question. Next one is write an equation for the reaction between chlorine and water. So how do you figure that out? Chlorine reacting with water. Now you have, uh, actually you, you, this is from group 17. You must know this reaction, it's Cl2 plus H2O. This is chlorination of water. This is what happens in a swimming pool. It produces HCl and it produces another hydrochloric one acid. It's uh, HOCl. So two acids are produced when you add uh, chlorine. So when you add chlorine to uh, water. Let's move to the next part, which is uh, use standard uh, electrode potentials from the data booklet to calculate the E0 cell for the following reaction. So let's uh, have a look at this reaction. I mean, this, now you have to figure out uh, what is happening. Uh, what's happening is there's a, there's a Cl2 reactant. You need to identify the equations in the data booklet. So let's open the data booklet. Uh, 
we have the CL2 equations with us. Uh, let me rub this, rub the previous working first. Uh, so I have the CL2. I mean, this is here. And the other one was, uh, was this OCL, I, I think it was this one. Because it had, it had, uh, I mean, if you go back over here, it had CL2 and it was reacting with OS minus one. And uh, so it was probably this reaction over here. I mean, it was CL2 reacting with uh, OH minus one and CL minus one. Let's, let's try and figure this out. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do the working here on the screen. All the working would be done over here. My hunch is these are the two relevant electrodes that I should be dealing with. Uh, how, how did I guess this? I guessed it because uh, if I look at my equation over here, I have OH minus one, CLO minus one. So pretty much all these reactants and products, uh, they're, they're all present over here. So I'm gonna go with my hunch. Uh, this is the higher potential. So that means if it's the higher potential, it's the one that's going to gain electrons. So it's going to go in the forward direction. And this over here is the lower potential. Uh, so since it's, uh, since it's the lower potential, that indicates that it has a higher tendency to lose electrons, get oxidized. So it's going to go in the, it's going to go in the backward direction. So I'm going to do that working and I'm going to do that working. Uh, let's move to the next page and write this up. So I'm going to do, uh, and I'm going to first try and figure out whether do I get this reaction or not, if I use this. Uh, the first one is going in the forward direction, so it's Cl2. So I'm going to write it in the forward direction. It's going to be Cl2 plus two electrons forming. 2Cl minus one. So let's write that down. It's Cl2 plus two electrons and it's gaining electrons to form 2Cl minus one and it is 1.36. So I've written that one down. Let's write the oxidation equation, which is Cl minus one O8 and two OH minus one. So Cl minus one plus two OH minus one and they are forming I mean, that reaction is getting oxidized, going in the backward direction. So it's getting oxidized. It's going to form ClO minus one plus H2O plus two electrons. So ClO minus one plus H2O plus I think two electrons. I'm not sure. Let me just quickly check. ClO minus one plus H2O plus two electrons and this is 0.89 volts. And let me check whether I get the if I add the two, the electrons that are being gained and the electrons that are being lost, they're equal. So let me add the two equations together. So this would be Cl2 plus there's Cl minus one plus there's two OH minus one. And on the product side, I have uh, two Cl minus one plus ClO minus one plus H2O. So as you can see, these are my reactants over here. These are my products on this side. So uh, reactants and products, I've summed them up. Uh, this Cl minus one would get canceled out because uh, the Cl minus one is on both sides. So if I bring it over here, now you can see this equation over here is the same equation that I'm getting over here. So my hunch was pretty accurate that it was these two electrodes. So, so you would not actually ask to do all of this. What you were being asked for was the E0 cell. So how do you calculate the E0 cell? The E0 cell is a higher potential minus the lower potential. So it's going to be 1.36 volts minus 0 0.89 volts. And that gives me, uh, bring in the calculator, it's going to be 1.36. So it's 1.36 minus 0 0.89 enter that gives me 0.47 volts. So that's my answer to this part of the question. The next part is part three, the OH ion was increased and the E cell was measured. Indicate how the value of the E cell measured would compare to the E naught cell. Uh, so now our working is actually going to be going to benefit us because I mean, this working is going to come in handy now. Let's rub the working some of it. Now the question states specifically, let me choose another colored marker. Now the question specifically is talking about this OH minus one, the next question. 
look over here, the OHN concentration was increased. So if you're going to increase the concentration, if you're going to increase the concentration of this OH minus one over here, this equilibrium, which was originally an equilibrium, is going to shift more to the right. It's going to move forward even more. And if it moves forward, it's going to produce more electron and this is going to become more negative. Or you can say lower. So let's assume it becomes 0 0.70 volts. Always remember this. I'm going to recap, uh, repeat my steps. You increase OH ions. Okay, let's go to the data booklet. And let's focus on this. You increase OH minus one. If you increase this concentration of OH minus one, this equilibrium is going to shift to the left. And if it shifts to the left, it's going to favor the backward reaction. More electrons are going to be produced. If it produces more electrons, <coughs> so if it's going to produce a lot of electrons, the electron would, be, would become very negative because there would be a lot of electrons present over here. And this would become even lower, more lower, less than 0.89 volts. So that is precisely what's going to happen over here. You increase OH ion concentration, more electrons are going to be produced. And let's assume okay, this is a hypothetical value. <coughs> let's assume it's 0 0.70 volts. I mean, I'm, I'm just taking a hypothetical value. That I know it's becoming lower. It's, I mean, the more electrons are getting produced at this side. So let's assume it's 0 0.70 volts. So if I put and calculate the E cell now, so instead of putting 0.89 over there, the potential difference is 1.36 minus 0 0.70. So the value is going to be 1.36 minus 0.70. It's going to be much bigger. So the explanation is, the explanation is, the E cell becomes more positive. And I'm, I need to explain my answer as well. So I'm going to take that equilibrium. Uh, let's bring that equilibrium. Where was that? It was uh, the original equation was ClO minus one plus H2O. This is the data booklet equation. I'm going to code that value. And it was Cl minus one plus two OH minus one. And this was 0.89 volts, E naught. And I'm going to state that if OHN concentration increases, so for concentration, put a square bracket around it. <coughs> so if OHN concentration increases, that means uh, equilibrium shifts to the left. And that is all. You just have to tell that. That's all. You already stated the rest of the part, which is that E cell becomes more negative. Sorry, uh, this electrode would become more negative. The E cell is the overall cell value. If this becomes more negative, the overall cell potential is going to be more positive because 1.36 minus 0 0.70, for example, gives you a bigger value. The next part of the question is half equation involving bromate ions and bromide ions is shown. So it's only a half equation. An alkaline solution of chlorate can be used to oxidize bromide ions to bromate. Use the data booklet and the half equation shown to write an equation for this reaction. <coughs> so what's the other equation? ClO minus one and alkaline. So the only information about the other equation is given that it's, it's, it has ClO minus one and it's alkaline. I don't know what that is. So open the data booklet. Uh, I'll rub these off first. So alkaline, why isn't so alkaline ClO minus one alkaline? Uh, so I don't have any other option apart from this one. I mean it's ClO minus one and it's it has OH ions as well. I mean that's the only one I think I have. ClO minus one alkaline. So I think we have to. It's the same 0.89 volt equation which we have to put over there. So it's ClO minus one. I'm going to write it over here. ClO minus one plus there was, I think, H2O plus uh, there was two electrons in equilibrium with the what? With with Cl minus one. 
plus 2 is minus 1, and I have now remembered this value. This is 0 0.89 volts. Anyways, we can get rid of this. I mean, let's remove the extra working that we did. And let's now try and figure out what the value is going to, I mean, what's, what's the final equation? This is the higher potential it gains electrons. This is the lower potential it loses electrons, that's it. And you make up the equation. You have to make the number of electrons equal. So I'm going to multiply this by three. So that instead of having two electrons, I now have a total of six electrons. So I'm, because I need to make the number of electrons that are being lost and the number of electrons that are being gained equal. Next part, what's the overall equation? Add up the reactants, so I'm going to write R on this side and on the other side, add the products. <coughs> so the first one, the reactants are Br minus one and six OH minus one. Now the second one, the reactants are three ClO minus one plus three H2O. On the other side, I'm going to write the products. For the first one, the products are BrO3 minus one, plus there is three H2O water molecules. And the other one, the products are three Cl minus one, plus you have six OH minus one. So that's it. And we can, I think we can simplify this equation. It's going to be the six OH minus ones are going to get canceled out the three water molecules on both sides are going to get canceled out. So the remaining equation, that's your, that's your equation. We can check the answer as well. Uh, let me try and check the answer. I don't think this is the actual paper. No, this is not the paper, so, uh, but this is going to be the answer. And calculate the E naught cell for the reaction. So higher potential minus lower potential. So it's going to be 0 0.89 and minus 0. What 0 0.58 volts. <coughs> so higher potential minus lower potential. Reduction minus oxidation. 0.89 minus 0.58. Calculator 0.89 minus 0 0.89 minus what? 0 0.58. And the value is 0 0.31 volts. So we've done that. Now the next part is when a concentrated solution of bromic acid is warmed, it decomposes to form bromine, oxygen, and water. Write an equation, use the oxidation. Achha, so you just have to write an equation, it's HBRO3. That's it, I think. Concentrated solution is warmed. What does it produce? It produces bromine. It produces uh, oxygen and it produces water. That's it. Now, apparently this equation is very easy. It's, uh, it's a, you, I mean, you can balance it, uh, but he's saying use of oxidation numbers may be helpful. Now this is a redox reaction. Now you have to ensure that the number of electrons gain and loss are equal. Uh, what you have to ensure is, like this is Br plus five over here. I mean, you can do the calculation, you can do the math, They've already told us that it's bromic five. So I'm assuming this is Br plus five. I mean, you can do the math. It's oxygen is minus two. <coughs> so this would be minus six. H is plus one. So this is plus five. Bromine is zero over here. That means uh, how many electrons are being lost? That means gain actually, it's getting reduced. So gain, it's five electrons. I'm going to double this so that, I mean, there are two bromines on both sides. I'm going to double this as well. So that's a total of 10 electrons being, so that's a total of 10 electrons being, uh, being gained. Who's losing electrons? Let's focus on the other one. Look at oxygen. Oxygen is minus two over here, but on the other side, oxygen is zero. <coughs> that means oxygen actually lost two electrons. Uh, now, focus 
over here. Focus on this. You have uh, 10 electrons being gained. So there should be 10 electrons being lost as well. How can you lose 10 electrons if you have uh, five auxins, right? If you have five auxins, then you're going to lose uh, 10 electrons. How can you get five auxins if this is five by two? How many auxins do I have? Do I actually have over here? I have three into two, six auxins. So that just left, leaves me with one auxin. I mean, this is not getting oxidized or reduced. I mean, this auxin is minus two. So nothing is happening to it. It's not undergoing redox. So the number of electrons gained and lost are equal. Five auxins, five auxins. One auxin left, that's over here. And this equation is balanced now.